So if you ask someone what makes a man attractive, they usually respond with things like confidence, height and physique. But if you ask someone what makes a face attractive, a lot of people tend to respond that it's based on luck. As if the face is just a bunch of random events that turns out to be attractive in some and unattractive in others. But this is not the case. There are some key features in the face that differences an unattractive and attractive person. And in this series, we're gonna take an in-depth look at these features. If you take a look at superheroes in comics, you will notice that they have highlighted certain features in the face to make them look like a superhero. If you take a look at Sean O'Pry, which is the highest paid male model, you will notice that his jawline is very strong. What most attractive people have in common is their jawline. If you look at this picture, you notice a big difference in attractiveness between a recessed jawline and a strong jawline. I think it's safe to say that jawline is important when it comes to facial attractiveness. Next up, we got the hunter eyes. In this comparison, you will notice that there is a big difference between hunter eyes and prey eyes. Research on prey and hunter eyes was conducted by a team of scientists from the University of California, Berkeley and Durham University in Britain. The research was published in a journal called Science Advances. The research showed that there's a difference between the eyes of animals that are seen as prey and animals that are seen as hunters. And the reason for these eyes was to have a better view of everything around them. Being a prey means having to be more aware of your surroundings. It not only means being more aware, but also having a greater view. Adrenaline and caffeine doesn't necessarily make you stronger. It lets you tap into more of your strength. But you can only perform the work that your muscle fibers are able to perform. So the answer isn't to load up on caffeine and have higher adrenaline levels. It's rather to train your muscle fibers to get stronger, to be able to perform more. Then in a fight or flight situation, you're able to tap into that maximum strength that you have built up. And this is also the case for prey animals. They are not only more aware of what they can see, they are also able to see more. And it makes sense when you consider that in humans, having hunter eyes is considered an attractive trait. Another attractive trait that makes hunter eyes stand out even more is having prominent cheekbones. Hollow cheeks is a combination between having prominent cheekbones and low body fat. It's something you often see with models and attractive people in general. But with models these traits usually stand out a little bit more because they are being highlighted with makeup and photoshop. Especially when it comes to superheroes. Attractive men is usually referred to as Shad, and the women are referred to as Stacy. The person who drew this has put a lot of emphasis on the jawline. And this is what's done with superheroes in comics. They put a lot of emphasis on traits that makes someone either masculine or feminine. And as there are traits that make someone either masculine or feminine, these traits usually stem from alterations in position when it comes to these traits that makes someone attractive. You got features that make someone attractive, but then the placement of these features is what makes someone either masculine or feminine. Think about it this way. You get red and blue. If you mix them, you get purple. And the color purple is the equivalent of being attractive. But the balance between the two colors, red and blue, is what determines whether the color purple is gonna be dark or light, masculine or feminine. Men, for instance, has lower cheekbones while women has higher cheekbones. So there are small physical differences that make up a big difference in how we perceive someone. Whether we see them as masculine or feminine, strong or weak. Whether we see them as a villain or a hero. These are all determined by small differences in physical appearance. It is not love at first sight, it is lust at first sight. How we perceive someone before we even know them is based on how our brains perceive them and how our brains perceive them is based on something biological. And this is called the halo effect. This is where good looking people are perceived to do better in life just based on their look. 
this is just an overview of everything. We will go more in depth in further videos. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.